8.4 logarithmic functions is what we're talking about right now. Okay, so the definition of a log. Okay, so we are finally getting into solving and using logs now. Before we were talking about exponential functions. Well, exponential functions kind of have an opposite, and their opposite is logs and natural logs, which is what we're going to talk about now. So, a log normally has a form of a log with a little number, like a subscript, we call it like a base number, b, and a number following it. Okay, and what you need to keep in mind is that you can rewrite them. And you're used to seeing exponents, okay? You're used to seeing a base number b uh, with an x. Well, what I want you to keep in mind is when you're rewriting these logs, which this might look kind of crazy for you right now, but we're going to see a couple examples of how to rewrite these. So after going through these, after rewriting these, hopefully it's a little clearer to you on how we actually rewrite these items. But what I want you to keep in mind is the base in this log, which is what we call this little b for the base, the base in this log is the same base in the exponential uh, equation that we have here. So keep in mind when you rewrite these problems, the little b is the same in both of them. The b is the base of the log and it's the base of your exponential um, little function or equation here. So when we do this, you gotta keep in mind that b cannot equal zero. Okay, so b cannot equal zero when we're doing this. So when we say this, we say log base b of y is normally how we pronounce something like this. Um, so if you hear me say log with a you know base 2, that means it's log with a little 2 right there. So keep that in mind when we're doing this. So if I wanted to rewrite log base 2 of 8, here's what I would do. The 2, right, that base 2 is the same base here. So it would be 2 to the x power equals 8 is how you would rewrite that. 2 to the x power equals 8, which is what we have down there. So we're just going to work on rewriting these. Um, so when we're doing this, I have a 2 here. So how can I rewrite this problem, right? This is, uh, the base is the same in both. So that 2 becomes the base in the next problem. And your answer is the exponent. So 2 to the fifth power, 2 to the fifth power equals 32. And just double check your answer, right? If I said this to you, what if I wrote down 2 to the 32nd equals 5? Remember, this is the easy part. The 2 is the base in both. So that number you should automatically get right. When you're swapping these around, does this make sense? 2 to the 32nd power, does that equal 5? Type it in your calculator. You end up getting, what, 100,000 million? You get 4 billion, 294 million as an answer. That's huge. That's not 5. But if you typed in 2 to the 5th power on your calculator, you get 32. So it makes sense. The point is you can double check your work when you're doing this. See if it makes sense to you. So when you go to rewrite this problem, once again, the base is whatever the little number is. So it'll be 5 to the 0 equals 1. When you go to rewrite this problem, it will be little 1, like it's a little 10. So it's a little 10. So it's base 10. So it's 10 to the first power equals 10. And down here, it can have decimals in it. It doesn't matter. Over here, it will be 10 to the negative 1 equals 0.1. And the reason why that works is you can have a negative exponent, so it's 1 over 10, so it's really 1 tenth, which is 0.1 as your answer. There are some special log values for you to keep in line. The log of 1, okay, b to the 0 equals 1. What that's saying is if you were to rewrite that, it would be b to the 0, right? Log base b to the 1 equals 0. What that means is any base you're always going to get 1 as your answer. The reason being is what's anything to the 0 power? When you rewrite it, you get something to the 0. It's always going to equal 1. Anything to the 0 power will be 1. So the point by this is if you have a 1 here, your answer is going to be 0. Okay? And it doesn't matter what base b is. So this is the other one, log of base b. If these two items are the same, right? So if it was log base 2, 2. If it was log base 3 of 3, if it was log base 10 of 10, your answer is going to be 1. And the reason being is when you rewrite it, you take this, which is your base, to the first power. Well, anything to the first power is exactly what you had initially anyway. So the point is, it really doesn't matter. When you have the same item here, right, when you have the same item, your answer is going to be 1. 
So it's just something simple for you to remember. So when we're looking at this example right here, if I wanted to rewrite that, I would rewrite it as, since the base here is 3, it's going to be 3 with an exponent, right? So 3 to the x power equals 81. 3 to the what gives you 81? 3 times what? 3 to the what power? Well, 3 to the fourth power gives you 81, so your answer is 4 for x here in that problem. In this problem, 5 to the, when we rewrite it, 5 to the x equals 0 0.04. Well, what could I plug in for x? That will give me, um, let's see here, what can I, okay, so what we're looking for is 5 to the what gives you 0 0.04 is really what we're looking at here. And that's 5 to the negative 2, which is like saying 1 over 5 squared, which is 1 over 25, which is 0 0.04. So when we rewrite this one, you take, even though it's a fraction, you take whatever that is, and we rewrite it. That's the base here, so it's the base over here. 1 half to the x equals 8. So 1 half to the what power gives you 8? 1 half to the negative 3, because when you flip that around, right, it's 1 over 1 half to the third, which is like saying 1 over 1 eighth, which is really just 1 over 1 over 8, which we can rewrite with reciprocals as 8. And this one, the base is 9, so it's like saying 9 to the what gives you 3. So when we're doing that, it's 9 to the half, right? Because the square root of 9 will give you 3. Um, the point behind all this is there is an easier way that I'll go over to instead of sitting there and trying to think through your head what the answer actually is. And when we come back, we're going to continue on here with example 4 and hopefully finish up um, 8.4 on logarithmic functions.